Now children, today I will tell you a very easy and interesting way of calculating median and this is the graphical determination of median, right. Now, in the case of graphical determination of median, here the median can be located graphically by ogive curves or cumulative frequency curves. You remember you have done it earlier how to draw the ogive curves or it is another name for that ogive curve is cumulative frequency curve. So, with the help of these curves we can locate median and these curves indicate less than and more than frequency. This you have done earlier, you have drawn the cumulative frequency curves earlier. So, in the same manner we will know how to locate median with the help of cumulative frequency curves. Now, first I will tell you the steps and then we will take the example to make it clear to you. Now, steps what does it show? First calculate ascending and descending frequencies, right. So, first step is arrange the frequency in ascending and descending order, right. This is the first step. Second draw less than and more than ogive curves. Now, first you will arrange the frequencies, this is the frequency given in less than ogive, you will make the cumulative frequency in the ascending order like this, more than ogive, arrange the cumulative frequency in the descending order. This you know the method, you have done it earlier. So, less than ogive, ascending order cumulative frequencies, more than ogive, descending order cumulative frequencies. So, calculate ascending and descending frequencies, draw less than and more than ogive curves. After arranging the frequencies, you have to draw two curves, one is less than ogive and second is more than. And third step is draw perpendicular line from the point of intersection on x axis as it is drawn over here the point of it intersection on x axis gives the median. Ok, I will explain this to you. Let us take the example. This is the data given to you, marks and number of students. Number of students means frequency, right. So, marks are given 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50 equal class interval. Frequency that is number of students 10, 20, 30, 20 and 10. This data is given to you, right. Now, with the help of this data, you have to calculate median by following these steps. Now, first is less than ogive. That means, you will arrange the frequencies in the form of ascending order starting from minimum. Now, less than 10 because here 0 to 10 is 10, less than 10 is how much? 10. Then less than 20 is 20 plus 10, that means here this is given to you. Now, if you convert it, less than 20 it will become 30, less than 30 this will be 60. This you have done earlier, you will keep on adding, right. Less than 10 is 10, this is the first one less than 20 means this plus this, this is 30, less than 30 is this plus this plus this, 60, less than 40 is this plus this plus this plus this, this is 80 and the last one again plus 10 is 90. So, in this way make the ascending frequencies, then more than ogive, more than 0 total are 90 because total frequencies are 90. So, 90 will be more than 0 because all the frequencies, all the number of students are getting marks more than 0. So, more than 0, 90, then more than 10, you will make, make it in the descending order because less than 10 is 10, 90 minus 10 that is 80. So, in this way, this you have done earlier also, I have given quite numerical practice 
many numericals I have given to you to explain this how to draw the CF. So, arrange the frequencies in this order less than and more than. Now, the next step is draw the diagram or graph. Now, here take the axis up to the height of 100 because 90 is the maximum frequency. So, we can take it till 100 divide the axis equally into 10 parts 10, 20, 30 so on till 100. This side always take the frequency take marks this side on O x axis and marks are ranging from 0 to 50. So, divide it equally into 5 parts. See the range of marks and range of frequency and take the distribution on O x and O y axis. Now, according to this data you will draw the less than and more than ojive less than 10 they are 10. So, here first is less than 10 there are 10. So, this will be the first point right less than 20 they are 30 this is 20 they are 30 this is the next point then less than 30 they are 60 less than 30 they are 60 then this will be the next point then 40 80 less than 40 they are 80 this will be the next point and then you will get less than 50 90 less than 50 this is the next point join the curves and you will get the ojai which is known as less than ojai. So, this is 60 not here 60 was here right. So, this way you get 1 2 3 4 5 point 1 2 3 4 5 right and join the points and you get less than ojai curve. Similarly, more than ojai first will be 90, second point will be 80, third is 60, fourth is 30 and then last one is 10 and extend it to the O x axis. So, after getting these points again you join the points and get the curve. When you get less than and more than ojaiv curves then you will find that at only one point they will be intersecting, they will be cutting each other. There cannot be more than one point because both are moving in the opposite direction. So, they will intersect at one point and this point where they intersect this gives you the median. How? You have to draw a perpendicular on x axis and this will be the median. The value between 20 to 30 right this will be the median point clear. So, graphically it is very easy to locate median the only thing is when the data is given to you you have to convert them into cumulative frequency of less than ojive and more than ojive both and after calculating it plot the points on the graph get two curves less than ojive moving from 0 to right hand side more than ojai moving from upper to lower side they will be intersecting at one point draw perpendicular and locate the median. So, earlier you have done the mathematical calculation of locating median here this is the graphical determination of locating median right. So, this is a very very simple way of finding out median. Now, after learning both the methods graphical and mathematical method of calculating median, let us take the merits and demerits of median. You know median is the measure of central tendency. Now, we have to see what are the merits and what are the demerits of median. First, we will take the merits and then the demerits because merits are more than the demerits as you can see here right. Now, here in this case first merit 
it is easy to calculate and understand. First merit is that median is a simple value, it is easy to calculate and understand. As you have done calculations earlier and you have learned the graphical method, you yourself will find out that calculation of median is very easy in comparison to calculation involved in case of standard deviation, mean deviation, correlation what you will be doing later. So, in comparison to this calculation of median is very easy, rather I would say it is easier than calculation of mean also, because the formula is quite simple.